The influence of El Nino is becoming more apparent as Hurricane Lydia looks to be pulled into the subtropical jet stream, causing a heavy rainfall event across the southern U.S. At the same time, an atmospheric river will push a large storm into the northwest before bringing heavy rain and severe weather to the central portion of the country. Then it will finish off in the northeast with a bunch of rain making for a messy weekend into the beginning of next week. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is Tropical Storm Lydia. This tropical storm is showing signs of strengthening with lots of convection occurring around the center. It's also approaching Mexico and it should become a hurricane by tonight and then making landfall as a Category 2 hurricane late on Tuesday into Wednesday. After landfall occurs, the system will rapidly weaken over the mountainous terrain of Mexico. The moisture from what once was Hurricane Lydia will then congeal with a separate tropical disturbance, which is currently in the Gulf of Mexico. These pieces of energy will join forces and ride the subtropical jet stream and bring heavy rains from deep south Texas into the southeast U.S. starting tomorrow and lasting through the end of the work week. Total rainfall after the storm is all said and done will range from less than an inch to an inch and a half in the blue shades. Purple areas can expect 2 to 3 inches of rain with 3 to 6 inches of rainfall being possible across the red. The areas likely to be impacted the most is from southeast Louisiana into the Florida Panhandle and southern Georgia. So that's what to expect with this storm. But what about the other one heading into the northwest? The first round of rain from this storm has already begun. Rainfall will be light across northern California into Washington state. This is associated with the cold front from the first storm which is making landfall in British Columbia. The real storm which will cross the country is this other system which will quickly follow behind the first round of rain. It will slowly infiltrate the northwest between Tuesday and Wednesday with relatively light rain and mountain snow occurring. The system will begin taking shape late Wednesday into Thursday with a strong low pressure system developing over the high plains. This strong low pressure area will draw moisture northward which will allow the storm to continue developing. By Thursday, October 12th, we may see a healthy low pressure system over Nebraska with heavy rainfall extending from Montana to the Great Lakes. As temperatures fall, we may see a burst of heavy snow from Nebraska into much of Wyoming. As we transition from Thursday into Friday, heavy snow may continue falling across Nebraska. The low pressure system will also start pulling east. This would be the time frame where we might also see some severe weather from northeast Kansas into southwest Iowa. The storm will quickly move east on Friday with heavy rain filling into Iowa and Wisconsin. The storm will cross Lake Michigan on Saturday bringing the heavy rain to the Great Lakes. The heavy rainfall will then shift into the northeast by Saturday into Sunday. Rain may linger across the northeast on Sunday into Monday. This will definitely be an interesting storm to track with multiple stages expected to unfold. One thing to pay attention to is the potential for a localized snowstorm across Wyoming and Nebraska. While it's too early to really pay attention to snowfall accumulations, this is what we could be looking at. Heavy snow totals look probable from parts of Wyoming into northern Colorado and perhaps western Nebraska. People in those areas should pay attention to this storm and watch for winter weather alerts. Another aspect of the storm worth watching is the severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has added a small slight risk of severe storms for Thursday, October 12th for northeast Kansas, southeast Nebraska, southwest Iowa, and extreme northwestern Missouri. This slight risk will expand in the coming days as more certainty in the forecast becomes apparent, but this is roughly where the main risk will be. Heavy rainfall will also cause some problems. Some heavy rain is expected for Northern California and Western Oregon and Washington. The flood threat should stay minimal here. Heavy rain will become a threat again over the central U.S. when it starts gaining access to Gulf moisture. Isolated flooding starts to become a concern on Wednesday, October 11th for parts of Iowa and Illinois. Flooding becomes a higher risk on Thursday from Wyoming to Illinois, with the greatest risk in the yellow, which includes southern South Dakota and northern Nebraska into Iowa. On Friday, the flood threat will shift towards northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and western Michigan. That will conclude today's forecast. More information, especially on that cross-country storm, will become available in the coming days with more details on snowfall and severe weather potential. 
Make sure you subscribe for more updates and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert when a new update comes out.